Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to the Beans and Rice Show. First up, we have one of our lovely hosts, host Beefy666, Love Bastion. Yes, sir, he's got long hair and he don't care. He's going to do whatever he likes because he likes it that way. Next up, we have multiple Academy Award winner. He's got best actor, best supporting actor, and many other accolades. Butter Pecan, Puerto Rican. Next up is our lovely lady on the ones and twos, representing the lesbian community. She loves the ladies, and the ladies love her, our Wizard of Oz, Ice Agent Alice. And last but not least, we got the man of the Lord. He walks in faith, so you should too. Good book being presented. Shouts out to God, Mr. J48 Javi. Beans and rice, enjoy the show. Tick, 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 tick. It like feels good to be champs. <laughs> tick, 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 you fucking bitches got fleas, okay? And ticks. Yeah. Take a good bath. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I tried withholding from swearing, but that is already over. Sorry. That's no, all right. We're going to get okay. shadow banned. Also. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, and some people get banned to the shadow realm. Not us. We just get shadow banned. We were born in the darkness. Of course. It is May 21st, Tuesday. Uh, this year is going by pretty quickly. A lot of you failed long ago at your New Year's resolutions. Oh, yeah. So instead of making peace with yourself and understanding that you're a loser, you guys pay for these events to just tell you what to do and you still don't even do it for emotional support you know yeah i got duolingo muchos gracias okay you guys crowdsource your self-esteem on, online man. through your socials whether that be ig TikTok, facebook oh, yeah. uh t- twitter form form i have X, a pinterest whatever. yeah you know please like i'm a furry have you heard about that then no one cares oh, that you I'm have a, a mustache. Furry. Shave it, you disgusting human. I wear a tail to college. Yeah. <laughs> You're like what? Dude, have better grooming habits. Ah, and not children, okay? You pieces of shit. Come on, no drizzy, man. Not, not those all. kind of people. You know what I mean? Us? No, not giddy, not diddy, not no. Kelly, not drizzy. Yeah, skitty out of there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Us. And I did. Maybe you think I can tell a story of what happened to me because I almost got. I think there was a couple people, because some people say, oh, you look like the Mexican Drake, because beefy, you know? Yeah, I've heard but, that. But I say, dude, I'm a fucking athlete, first of all, okay? Mm-hmm. I don't have a BBL. Do you think I have a BBL Nah. It's all natural fucking glutes, right? Yes. And then I was at the park walking my dog, right? And it was only me and my dog at the park, right? Sure. It was me, my dog. There was a couple other people walking their dogs. Uh, but it was maybe five people tops, you okay. know? It rained a little bit, so people, they stayed home. So it's just me. And my dog, Sonny, I'm walking at, you know, through the playground and lo and behold, what happens to us? A woman appears. Okay. A woman of how old was she? She was roughly 67 years old. Okay. Mine is freaking 57. Okay. Okay. You do the Which math. Which is 10. Yeah. You idiots. And what happened? Was you want to tell them what happened to me? Yeah, it was a 10-year-old girl, and uh, she was, I'm assuming her sisters were with her. They were oh, just yeah. another, a group of gaggling girls, okay? Yeah. Alliteration. GG's. GG's. Not good games. Yeah, and they weren't in a helicopter. And it was a bit drizzling outside, oh, yeah. to get back at the drizzy. Um, <laughs> but not the in that were, regard. The weather was being perverted. <laughs> just per, perhaps. It was wanting to pee on a couple people. And the, the grays, or, sorry, the clouds are gray. It's kind of shady. For obvious reasons, the clouds are blocking out the sun. Oh, yeah. These girls, even though it's a bit drizzly and rainy, they're eating popsicles, the rocket pops, the red, white, and blue. And that's because they couldn't get their hands on the prime beverage. That's the rocket oh, yeah. flavor. That's the best that they could do. The candy. Yeah, they, they had to substitute with the actual yeah. popsicle. It wasn't even a hot day. It was like 55 degrees. It's actually kind of chilly. But these girls didn't care. They wanted to have fun. Oh, yeah. And then they spotted the majestic creature... Your pet, yeah, known my as pet, Sunny. Me. Come on, guys. A golden retriever. It's showering golden retriever. Oh, exactly. King Gold, Midas touched them. You know what I mean? Golden knows? showers, okay? King Midas, he touched them. You know? And one of the, the the lead girl, right? The one that's about 10, freaks out. Ah! So cute! Ah, so cute, if you couldn't make out what I was saying. 
And she instantly runs towards the dog. But then, of course, manners kick in. She was caught off guard for a moment of energy. But manners kicked in. She immediately froze. It's like freeze tag. When you guys mm -hmm. ever play freeze tag, you say freeze and you stop very, very fast. Drops her popsicle. But <clears throat> because of the rules of manners, she couldn't continue and catch her popsicle. Lost her popsicle. Oh, yeah. Then she just looked at you, looks at the popsicle that has fallen and she can no longer eat, looks back at you, and already knows that there's only one decision left, and it is to ask if she can pet the majestic, majestic golden retriever known as Sunny. Ah. And you just looked at her, looked at her friends, and saw, well, she already lost her popsicle. Yep. I might as well give her something worth living for today. I might give her another popsicle. You yeah. know what I mean? Let's... And not that kind, you perverts. He's a charitable oh, man. Come on, man. But there was no ice cream trucks around. So the next best... Nope. So he could at least upgrade her to letting him, her pet the dog. And, you know, Sonny wasn't very happy about it. Oh, but no. he's a good dog. She was a Venezuelan, I think, dude. Yeah. Petting my dog. I was like, oh, God. She wanted to dude. get all the, the hair off of him so she can build a, yeah. a bed. Yeah, I have a blonde friend. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was a fucking golden retriever. You trying to do hair implants because <laughs> she didn't like her brunette hair anymore. <laughs> and she doesn't need much because the forehead was so big. And then but... she was like trying to ask me questions, right, Hoss? Of course. I'm like, how old is she? She was asking too many good questions. She's like, well, it's one times one, uh, two or one. I was like, how the fuck did she know my question? You yeah. Know? How does she know such a powerful question? And then she was just looking at me, looking at her, and it was, I'm like, what's your parents, you know? And she said, don't worry about my parents, it can be our secret. And I'm like, what the fuck, our secret? You know, I was like, what secret? I'm like, you're just here petting my dog, you know? Yeah. And then I did what every person, one thing that I've learned, you know, because we talk a lot about white people, you know? That white people, they don't have, they don't have a lot of skills, honestly. You know, I can make 450 degrees. For chicken you know i like chemistry yeah you know it's like you're just like baking that's a poor substitute for chemistry but ancestry.com you yeah. know so like that but what's one thing that they do for protection the whites what happens your phone you yeah. know so as soon as she started baiting me i just pulled up my phone you know and i went on record and i said hey i'm a i told her i'm a social social influencer like i'm recording is like, I don't want you to be on this video. Can you please excuse me, you know? Yeah. And then she finally, like, went away. But she was trying to, like, touch me and stuff like that. And then I didn't know what to do, you know? Because I'm like, whose kid is this? Which parent leaves their kid just in the rain? You know what I mean? And there could, there could be perverts lur lurking, right? But yeah, I'm not a pervert. Be. Come on, man. I'm an introvert, okay? Come on. So there could have been a lot of other people lurking, hosts. And then I walk. I'm walking towards my car because I'm like, oh, I got to get out of here. I can't be seen. 2024 i can be seen in a playground talking to kids right of course. so i started walking fast towards my car you know the ford fusion that is once that's the, that's the thing that made me feel good because criminals they don't drive ford fusions you know what i mean no so i'm like oh at least i got a good car a nice car i don't have a fucking chevy malibu a nissan rogue a dodge ram you know what i mean yeah. i don't have a piece of shit car you know so i'm walking toward the ford fusion like i got I make it beep, you know, so it's like, they're, they're alerted that it's mine. Yeah. You know, and the girl is still following me, so I'm like, what the hell? Like, I'm thinking this girl's going to jump into the fortification. Maybe she hates her life that much. Because I, I would be mad if my parents were Venezuelan, huh? You don't think you would be mad? I'd be very mad. Like, bro, I'm, I'm going to jump in somebody's car, you know? Yeah. Human traffic me, you know? Yeah. I, mean, that's what she I volunteer as trivia <laughs> yeah. at that point. <laughs> yeah. I see it as a business opportunity, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to grow my it's an career. Investment. That's an investment. Yeah. <laughs> Into ten her years future. from now, I'm gonna I be divided my years, you know, into half a year every. You know, I only did half the time, you idiots. You know. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, she's going to get into my car, and she starts running like right next to me, and I'm like, oh god, here it goes. I was I was thinking Chris Hansen or whatever is going to pull out, you know, the cops or the helicopter, and then right when she gets to my car, like somebody opens the door. It was a, a Dodge Ram. And she got in there. I was like, oh, man, so close. I got the fuck. I called host right away. I'm like, oh, it's freaking, dude, come save me. You know, he said, don't worry. Well, who did you say that you called host? I said you called the right person. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> I went over there very discreetly. I cut the brake lines to that Dodge Ram. Oh, yeah. Now that family's no more. Nope. They're deceased. You know what I mean? They crossed over the line. Yeah. Because I fucking <laughs> deported them. They're back in Venezuela where they belong. They, they love socialism much. I sent them back to it. They redlined, you know what yeah. I mean? And then they flatlined, you know what yeah. I mean? Basically, that happened. Yeah. They were laying flat. Yeah. Asleep. <laughs> A couple of red schools, you yeah. know? 
<laughs> yeah, but that was scary. You don't think that was scary? Though? It was scary. Oh, man. I didn't know what experience. to do. Yeah. What about you, Javi? When, now that you're a dad, you know? And maybe other babies. You know babies, bro. They're, they'll go up to you. Maybe they, you know? They say you got a fucked up leg. Maybe they want to touch it. Like, what happens? How do you get out yourself out of that scenario? Uh, You don't. No, funny enough, we went to the park and uh, I had, See? like, Elijah made me go up the slide with him. And I didn't realize the kid was behind me. When I stepped on his hand, I felt so bad. I was and like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. No, he was fine. He's like, it's okay. I was like, damn. And did that face where it's not a face. He's like, yeah, he's like, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> and then what did I do? Instead of letting the kid go first, I went first on the slide. Yeah? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm an alpha male, you know? I'm not going to oh, let yeah, a dude, little the fucking baby. Punk, Imagine letting punk a kid, kid do something. Punk me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck out of here, on, kid. I was like, yo, I was in line first. Just because you're a kid, I'm, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, you guys wanted equality too. Yeah. yeah. And he showed him a, b- a book on how to suck a dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's, before you went That's the what they're doing in schools, is what we're saying. Oh, <laughs> he's like, read this fucking book. You know? <laughs> I'm so liberal. <laughs> Here you go, you know? He's always handing them out at the board. I'm such a leftist. <laughs> yeah. I want them to, you know. But I care for our children. And that kid decided. He Five minutes later, he was at the ice cream truck <laughs> sucking down a fudge sickle. Ding, ding, so. ding, 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 ding. Yeah. And a fudgesicle isn't the race. It's where it was placed beforehand is why it's fudgy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fudged it up, huh? Maybe. You know? <laughs> that kid had E. coli. Oh, yeah. You know? He put what the kind C of gas Eli, which was his name. Damn. Eli and Gargo! My name's Eli. <laughs> I put the company in my name. E. Eli. <laughs> Yeah, but the, so you don't have to get scared. You just have to play it off like confident, Javi, or how do you do it? Because yeah, I don't you, have kids. I just have a dog, you know? Yeah, I He's mean, better than a kid, obviously, but it's just like it's still not the same, you know? It's all much better. Yeah. Easier to maintain because you can call Sonny and he'll come right back, right? I have no, to call Pony they... hey, and he's like already in the next van. Huh? What, yeah. what am I supposed to do then? <laughs> in the next van? <laughs> But it, it doesn't happen like that. Like, or other kids, like maybe you're at the park and they want to go sit in your lap. That doesn't happen? No, that doesn't. But they'll, like the kids will want to play and then like their parents come over and want to start chatting. I'm like, man. Yeah. And have you learned like. I'm parents- a racist. That's what I see. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, hey, I'm racist. And then it, whether it's like whatever minority or not minority, they'll back off, you know, because a lot of them are liberals. Like who the fuck goes to the park like on a Sunday, you know? No right wing person goes to the park on a Sunday. No, no self respecting conservative goes to the park on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So it's only losers go to the park. Shout on out Sundays. to the uh, Middle Eastern community. Damn, there was some queens there. Yeah, blowing up the park. Hey, one of one of them <laughs> did, but like how they were dressed or whatever. They were larping as ninjas. You know. <laughs> yeah, the All woman the was excited. Ooh, actually, ninja! no, she showed her face, but it did was she? pretty. Yeah. She was pretty. Yeah, shout out to her. She's Maybe pretty you, beaten, right? You think so? Hubs? Black and blue. That's no, I mean, even her man was face. like, they look like royalty, to be honest. Oh, really? Like, These people look like they have money. Oh, man. They yeah. had a couple of Bentleys, this? you think so? Uh, Somewhere up here, Cottonwood, some. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he's driving over here to go to the park? You know what? If Bonnie wants a rich <laughs> white lady as, as her. Oh, that's an investment, huh? I'm, dude. He might I'm not an idiot. Why, why the fuck would I go to a park that's next door to my house? Oh, you know what I yeah. mean? You know, In West Valley. Look, fucking... oh, how many Polynesians are going to be there, Hoss? The whole family. You know? The whole family Waiting for free lunch. Now. Dude, they've been waiting all the school's <laughs> not even over. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know? What do you mean you're waiting for free lunch? I'm always thinking like a Venezuelan over here huh? Dude, the polynesians they take over the whole playground you know what i mean i was yeah. like this is my island do you go there this is my island call, model. call you know? me king kamehameha <laughs> yeah. no. like, bro free lunch is not till fucking july you idiot you know what i mean <laughs> now they drop out of school you know if yeah. you're there taking they take bird baths you know uh, yeah because and honestly a polynesian is not even a bird it's like more like a penguin bath you know what i mean i was like yeah fucking <laughs> that's a dunk tank <laughs> 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 and they eat dunk, ball here. <laughs> and they eat dunk cookies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. nah, but maybe you think because I don't want this to happen to me again, host. Maybe I want to be more prepared for next time. But do you think maybe Hobby can teach us how to be like pretend that we're parents? Be and better I, adults around kids. What happens to these scenarios, right? Yeah. Because I don't want to entertain a child. No. Why do I have to keep your child entertained? If we had kids, dude, our children, you think they would be at playgrounds house? No. They, they would be at learning grounds. Yeah. They'd be right? read. They'd be at the library. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They would be in college already, you know? They'd be at their desk studying. Oh, yeah. 
learning how to read a book, like some maybe of you, doing my or taxes, your honestly. You know what I mean? Probably. Maybe on quick. I think Jose's kid would be a doctor from birth. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Holistic. <laughs> he does the opposite. <laughs> Host would be so disappointed. Family medicine. Oh! Western medicine. No, it's not. That's, why, the that's why they have both. Be. You know what I mean, Host? Yeah, we have the best of both worlds. Yeah, because if their insurance doesn't cover them for Dr. House, he sends them to his son. Yep. Oh, like, send them over here. He'll stick a, a couple fucking needles, you know, make you stare at a candle for huh? six hours. So you're good. That's oh. a good investment right there. Covering 100% of the you're geographic. You're good to go. Yeah. That's a true universal health care, huh? Oh, you don't want the COVID vaccine here's ivermectin you know yeah. <laughs> best of both worlds <laughs> take an aspirin we're gonna call it uh j uhg hosses universal health group right yeah. <laughs> pam pendy j hug because <laughs> sometimes when people are down and out all they need is it's a, a hug. hug come on those j hugs Patent pending. pending. Oh, that's gonna be the best. Cause Obamacare, bro, dude, you guys are. Uh, let's not. Obamacare can't even give you a hug. You know what I let's, mean? Have you guys heard of a of a black person with health care? And you thought, uh, uh, let's be honest, that a black man was gonna build up a good fucking health care plan? Or a father like Obamacare? Yeah. Like, dude, like, the bro. black fathers don't care. You really think the president's gonna care about yeah. your health care? Come on, he's not gonna build up. You know, he's like, oh, go give him some henny and a fucking what do they say else? <laughs> and a forty ounce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna like, say a food stamp. But. Yeah, giving a henny and some robitussin. You know what I yeah. mean, That's like, and they're good to go. You know, for sure. But you think you can help us, hobby? Maybe you can play some playground noises, and maybe host. You can be. You want to be like a parent, or would you be like my dad? Do you think? Well, that's also a parent. I could be your dad if you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is a parent. A P P. Okay, guy. <laughs> so a parent. <laughs> And maybe Hobby, you're gonna train Hobby like you're. Maybe you're the Middle Eastern guy, or maybe because you know what? Play a lot of people that live in the East Side. Where are they from, Hawks? On the East Side, they're uh, they're Asian descent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're the East Valley Side of Valley Utah, Valley. <laughs> Salt Lake Valley specifically. So, what's gonna be your name, like? Uh, you want to be Mr. Lee, or do you want to be... Who would you be? <laughs> Let me think of a good name. Who's Hobby going to be in this? Hobby's going to be Hobby, remember? Because okay. he oh, already has a son. Parent. That's right. Yeah. And you're going to be my son? I want to be a son, or should I also be another... Or maybe I'm just myself, and I'm just running into the playground. Maybe. Or I'm just a bystander learning. <laughs> That's not a good place to be a bystander. Well, it's because I'm learning, because I don't want this to happen to me again, Hobby. So now I'm going to playgrounds to watch... How people the few situations you know what i mean because i learned from my mistakes Avi. even though that wasn't a mistake that was just uh i'm an ichiban ichiban mr ichiban okay so it's a you're at the park Javi. you have to be there for two hours you can't leave because you uh your son he's got a prescription that he has to have two hours at the park every single day so you can't use your oh i'm a racist because you have to stay at the park okay and maybe I'm your son, okay? I'll be uh, Jimmy. You want me to be Jimmy? Jimmy Doo. Jimmy Doo. Jimmy Doo. Jimmy Doo. Jimmy Doo? Jimmy Doo. Jimmy That's how I'll say you're Jimmy, but I say Jimmy Doo. Okay. Jimmy Doo with your bun? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, you can't play. Kid, kid. Jimmy Doo. Kid. kid, you can't play like that. Jimmy Doo, get away from the white man. Hey, Papa. <laughs> That's a wrong accent. Jimmy Doo. Hey, Papa. You see this uh, white man here. Sir, what is you doing with my child? Senor, you no hablo inglés. He speaks Spanish. I habla español, dad, just like a school you. My kids speak Spanish. Yo hablo español. Hola. Lárgate de aquí, niño. Don't stop like a did, What did he say to you, Jimmy? He told me to get the fuck out. Don't speak to my son like that. ¿Y usted quién es, señor? A mí me vale... I bring samurai sword to your heart. Tell him. Tell him, Jimmy. What did he say? I take samurai sword to his heart. Él te va a matar con una cuchillo Espadalo. grande. Oh, me va a apuñalar. And to pues si quiero putazos, luego, luego. He que said, la, if you want a lot of faggots, you can have it right now. <laughs> puros pinches putazos, puros vergazos. Tell a lot of fucking faggots and a lot of fucking cocks. Tell this mexican eru faggoteru that... <laughs> They are the same size as us. We have the restaurants and they cook it for us. 
They work for us. Mi papi dice que tú eres una basura, que tú trabajas para nosotros. Tú no puedes hacer nada. <risa> si soy dueño de su restaurante. Come mis pantalones. <risa> I am so proud of you, Jimiro. This is why we don't like the Mexican people. I only wanted to be friends with Carlos. Papa, I want to play with Carlos. Carlos is a piece of shit. If he knows what is good for him, he shall kill himself in his family's honor's name. We uphold the highest of the traditions. How many languages does Carlos speak? Two? He's an ESL you speak of four languages. Yes. Little Carlos is a retarded kid. Look at him, drooling all over the place like he has extra salivary glands. I wish, Dad, that you could just pull out your knife and tell Carlos to bring uh, the his whole, whole family, family now. now! And we dice him up like a nice, a slice, surprise. surprise. Fuck these people, dude. Let's go. Oh, we Javi, come on. Javi didn't do that good, dude. He's not a good dad, bro, honestly. <laughs> dude, he's fucking mid at bad. That was some <laughs> shit to a kid. You know? That's yeah. mid, bro. And I'm I'm such a better father that I was telling my kid to talk shit back to a man. Yeah, he was teaching me how to be a man. Yeah. Damn, Bobby, that he kinda sucks. You don't think so? Yeah. <laughs> I can see why he goes to Cottonwood instead of West Valley. Uh, it's a lot safer. Yeah, you yeah. don't deal with other Mexicans yeah. there. Uh, I get it. He's a token Mexican. <laughs> oh my god, me. I was I was. There was like a Venezuelan family there. Yeah. There was uh some lady that looks like she was from Spain or whatever. That's a terrorist, Tavi. España? It's not? The train terrorists? Isn't that what they call them, Hoss? I don't know what you're talking about. The Spaniards? Train terrorists? Train terrorists? Yeah. Look up Spaniard train terror really quick. What? <laughs> you haven't seen? You don't remember that? Did you used to do that in Spain, Hoss? I don't remember this. I don't. I didn't think Spaniard they had trains. Spaniard train. I know anthrax, which rhymes with Amtrak. No, dude. Look it up. Watch Spanish train terrorists. See, come on, Hulls, you don't, dude, Doctor Hulls, come on, look at that. I don't remember this at all. Should we, should, should we be showing this? It's on YouTube. Look at that. Oh, that was the gayest cop car. Go back, Javi. Look at that, dude. No wonder they got a tie. Go back and pause it. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like a taxi. What Could the... you imagine, dude, trying to be the law and pull it pull another one of those? I think that might be an ambulance. Play it, Javi. Watch. Pause it. See, I think that's an ambulance. You don't think I so? hope it's an, an ambulance. ambulance. Dude, I would die if I was in that ambulance. You don't think so? You're like, bro, I don't want to be gay. You think? Yeah, dude, people here in the US use that as when they're like, oh, I have my little house on wheels. Yes. When they cross the country and they have one bed. They have a gaming setup and a small little kitchen. Those are the electric. Uh, That's the Amazon trucks. That yes, yes, those are the electric trucks that they you can buy on like that, like on Amazon. Fucking Spaniards, man. Uh, but look at that. See, they would do that, Hoss. Islamist militant attacks marking 20 years. So the Spanish people aren't the terrorists here. Hey, you don't know. Maybe he was Spanish. Look at this. Damn, look at that. Is that Spade, Hoss? Look at that. <laughs> Dipset, <laughs> dipset, dipset. But yeah, you can pause it. But yeah, but see, I thought you guys knew about this, man. No, I did not know about that. Oh man, that's from two thousand and four, dude. That's when that's when the world used to be fun. You know what I mean, Hoss? Back then, we like well, there was an aura of mystery. Oh yeah, attack, surprise attacks. Right yeah. now, Do you remember? there's a drone over us. There's a balloon. Now dude. they're planned. You know? Yeah. Now they're they're not they're they're not surprises now they're anymore. Eggs, you know what I mean, Hoss? Yeah. We had five un unidentified balloons flying over. We had to shoot them. Do you remember when they had anthrax and you couldn't open up mail without having a oh, gas yeah. mask on? Oh, I, dude, I wouldn't even pay my light bill. You know what I mean? Because no. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get anthrax. And I never got a notice. Too, well, and then yeah. back then there was no real internet, like payment plans or whatever. You know yep. what I mean? So they'd have to physically come find you. Yep. Dude, the internet used to be for free, remember? Basically. Yeah. You could get the trials. You get like, the net zero CD. You have like a thousand uh, hours. Oh, yeah. And that was just like downloading one song. Yeah. <laughs> you spent three days downloading one song and it was worth it. Oh, you're like, oh, I got this song electronically. I was that play on demand back then. You yeah. had to mine the song. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> that was when you actually had to mine things. Yeah, now, now where you're mining for crypto. Like, 
I want to play Fortnite. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, dude. <laughs> These freaking idiots. A call of duty. I want to play Fortnite. That's why I'm one of my electives is construction because I want to know how to build. You know, like bro. fucking gay. But back then, dude, you could have surprise attacks, right? Dude, anything could attack you back then. Remember that, host? Anything could. You could be walking outside, a dog could attack you, right? Oh, yeah. A racist neighbor could, could attack you. You, you could walk through a park. A child predator. And there oh, might yeah. be quicksand there. Oh, yeah. At now, a not even a thing anymore. Or a sinkhole, remember? Yep. You would be driving down the road. It's like, oh, there's a sinkhole. Don't, oh, there's mm-hmm. sinkholes right there. There, there could be, uh, what do they call like trap doors? Remember when people do trap doors? Oh, yeah. Now it's Augustus King. Welcome to my house. Trap you know? apartment. Look at my trap apartment, dude. That is a bunch. That, that is called low income housing, Augustus, okay? Section 8, I believe. You, yeah, uh, that's a uh, trap apartment. Get it right, okay? Change your fucking sauce. And the 8 is the infinity sign turned upwards yeah. so that it confuses you because you'll be there forever. Forever. <laughs> forever, 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 forever. Yeah. Part of the system, yeah. right? Part of, of the, the section. Of the eight you you erase a, a a little bit here of the eight you erase a little bit of the eight over here it turns into an ass oh, yep. you know but yeah so back then it's like dude we could get surprise attacks by dude they were sending us videos people are like kendrick lamar dude fucking osama bin Laden would send us a fucking threat what would happen what would he say they, they not, not like, like us. us. They, they not, not like, like us. us. They not like us. Death to America. <laughs> and he for sure would master hey, the sound, so it would sound better. Oh yeah. And then, and then <laughs> when we would do like the pedophile things on the house, it was actually like the terrorist house. You know what I yes. mean? With the pain of like where the terrorists. But could that's be. marking for the predator missiles. Yeah. To hit. <laughs> predator missile. C major. <laughs> <laughs> I have a minor setback. <laughs> that was the wrong house. <laughs> you know Let's I mean? do it all over again. And he happened to be in caves. So Reload. Enough. Yeah. All the houses that were bombing. He, he was, was ahead of his time in a cave. Yeah, he was in a mountain. Yeah. Dude, people were like, I live in a mansion. I live in a yeah. mountain. How I'll, rich outdoors, are you? Outdoors, I'm living... Uh, dude, Osama Bin Laden, he was like the original influencer. He was sending his fucking TikToks from a cave, right? Yep, yep. He was like living, what is it, all efficient. He was a minimalist. Yeah, he had a the <laughs> he had four local pairs of clothes. access network. Have you seen them? They're all huddled around four TVs playing Halo. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. He was man. doing land parties. In a mountain. You know what I mean? In a mountain. Dude, can you imagine, dude, Osama would go on kill He cared about the, the environment, you know yeah, what I mean? Did. Yeah, he did. He, he was so good, probably on Call of Duty, like all the kill streaks he would go on. Oh, yeah, Dude, he for sure got the Predator missile. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's so Stop. close to getting the nuke, but yeah. oh. the nukes, but it didn't <laughs> you know? get yeah, didn't Dude, get that it far. It would start playing Call of Duty with Osama. He was probably the fucking best over in yeah. Afghanistan. You know? All he wanted was a napalm, but he thought that was a high five because <laughs> of the palm. He's like Osama, I want to play. You know, <laughs> that's how they made him the commander in chief over there. You know, because he was just like the best at all the. Call of Duty War Zone, you yeah, know? Gear of Warts or whatever that one's called, you know, Year of the Warts. Yeah, so that's why. And now it's like, dude, now somebody sends you a Sneeko. You know, he sends you a what's Sneeko? Look, look him up really quick, Coffee Sneeko. Sneeko. I don't want to see. This is probably no, influence. just the. This uh... is an influencer, huh? Yeah, but okay. but look, look who we had right there. Look at that. Also well, we could have. <laughs> And now, look. Oh, now, oh my god. <laughs> now it's this guy trying to talk shit to you. I'm more scared of this guy if I'm you being honest. You know what I mean? You would be scared of this guy? Let's come on, man. Look at that. What's his deal? What does he talk about? Nah, no, he's just like somebody that. Now, nah, he's like. The, he looks like the Chinese triad. He's like Osama. Look, see, he's got a mic right there. He's like a modern day Osama. Oh, he was the guy that boxed the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sean Strickland? You did yeah. show me him before. Okay. Yeah, but it's like, dude. Like, look, now people look up to those guys, you know? We had real terrorists to look up to. You know what I mean? It was not this. Again. This guy's a terrorist? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, dude, I don't we know. had real ones. They're not that cool. Him, Jake Paul. He's a social Fruzy terrorist. Fruzy Tube. <laughs> Vitaly TV. Look up Vitaly really quick. You know? I think I remember him. Because he's he's old. He was like early 2010s, wasn't he? Yeah. That yeah okay. Remember? remember him, yeah. Like, dude, look at that guy, bro. That right, guy's look, just... Now he's catching predators. That guy's just one bad mushroom trip away from dude, being gay. You know what I mean? DJ, DJ like, Squall's on steroid. Look at that, bro. That guy's just fucking... You think that guy could beat up Osama, bro? Come on, man. Dude, Osama would probably fuck him, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Kneel down and bend over for me. <laughs> yeah. See, that's like, he got, goes down. He kind of looks like Javi in that one. Go down. Which one? Let's see. Which one? The one? Here? A little bit further. 
right there. Right there. This one? No, the, to the left. Right, that there one. Go, look. Uh, it looks like right there. <laughs> look. See, if you didn't have a beard. Or a hat, he yeah, would look like that. He would look like that. Damn, bro. He looks exactly <laughs> like Luffy. <laughs> do that, see? Look at us and do that. Smile, Luffy. Let's do it. See? <laughs> <laughs> The tally. <laughs> Zvorozvetsky. The hobby over here. You know what I mean? Yeah, but dude, who would be... Let's maybe... You want to do a top three terrorists that maybe we could pick, Hoss? Top three terrorists. We're going to do the big three. It's not... It's not... Because you know how Kendra's like, oh, fuck the big three. We're going to do the it's real big... It's just big me. No, nah, that's Osama. Fuck you know what I mean? Big three. It's just big me. Why does he do that sound, by the way? I don't know. Something he has all these little things. cartoony voices. Yeah. Dude, just rap normal, please. It would sound way better. So you want to do that? Let's do uh, the top three terrorists, Hoss? We can. I'll try. <laughs> oh, I don't know about... Top three terrorizers. We're going okay, down. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Idi Amin. Does, do tyrants count? Yeah. Isn't that the guy from Murder, Inc.? How do you, no, how do you spell that? Amin? No? Idi, I-D-I. I-D-I. A-M-I-N. Amin? Oh, Amin, damn. yeah. Damn, look at that, huh? Oh, <laughs> Hoss! <laughs> Is that fucking Dr. Botch? <laughs> oh, damn, that's a good dude. That guy yeah, looks... he like literally caused two tribes in Africa to fight each other just so that they both would kill each oh, other. Oh, and he has a pull in Africa. Go up, Bobby. Look at that, dude. Sounding down, like... go down, go down. Right, go down a little bit. Pool? Look, he's in a pool. And because of the heat in Africa, a pool is a hot tub. Dude, damn, boy. Dude, and he's buff. Look at him, huh? He's got like that farmer strength. Yeah. So you have Idami I mean, your number one draft pick? Idi I mean, is, yeah, probably number one. Okay, so, well, we get at least one draft pick each. Do you want to do that for the first okay, one? Okay, yeah, or? that's fine. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so I'm going to go with... Well, I think I already said Osama, so I think I might have to go with Osama, right? That, I'm okay with you having it, because okay. you did bring it up, so you have Osama. I'm going to go with Osama. Dude, look how cool. Dude, he was a, dude, he was the first one with a nice beard. Look at him. A salt that? and pepper beard. And nobody had, like, he always had the freshest beard. It just looks like he constantly drools, is what it looks Dry drool on his beard. But that's when, before beards were cool, he was also, like, I guess, like a pioneer in the beard stuff. He was, like, probably one of the most famous beards. And Javi, he dressed like that a couple times, too. But see, not that bad. I mean, bad, yeah, man. he was... He... <laughs> he was also good at fashion, actually, low-key. Like, look, go up, Javi. Look at that picture. Like, that's a dude. Look at the drip on him right there, dude. So yeah. everyone's striving for now, right? All these pro Palestine. Look at uh, that, bro. Motherf- yeah, like that's some drip right there, dude. That's like fucking, dude. That literally is like New York right now. That's fucking. What is that guy? The that one that got killed, Javi. The one that would do like the drill rap over there. Pop smoke. Yeah, that's like that pop smoke outfit right there. Look at that. Yeah, he would wear headbands like that. And the army stuff, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Osama. So I got him on my side. And he made the AK-47 famous. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Because it kind of died off, and then he brought it back, and it's like, damn, bro. <clears throat> All right, who are you going to pick, Hobby, for your... I think my number one draft pick is going to be Jose Padilla, the terrorist. Oh! <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, oh he has connections to Al-Qaeda, too, yeah, bro. You work oh, for me, man. bitch. <laughs> Hey, that's my number one, you know? Damn, right hand. Really? <laughs> Dude, that was a good call by Tommy. Fuck. Damn, that was a good one, man. Oh, yeah, number one. Look at this. They have to hide his eyes and his ears. He's in he's doing VR jail right there. Yeah, oh, he's getting ready for scuba diving. That's what <laughs> he's doing. Or snorkeling. Whatever that waterboard means, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, boy. There you go. That's the other Jose Padilla right there. This one, the bullfighter. Yeah, he got a bull, he got like a bull uh, drilled him like right on the throat. Oh, he kind of looks like Javi too if you look closely at him. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> he might. Oh, that's it. Uh, let's see if it just look up Jose Padilla bullfighter. Oh. Dude, Jose, you have to make me so much more famous. Come on, Jose, please. <laughs> it's like oh, he lost an eye. Yeah, the bull freaking poked him. You lost a leg. He lost an eye. Yeah. Right there. You see when he's bleeding? Look. All right here? Yeah. Like all that. And then go up a little bit more. That's how you block goals in soccer. Yeah, see, look. Boom. Oh, is that his eye right there? Yeah, look to the right. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Right there, you see how he's like, boom. Now the governments have decencies to put eyeballs in fucking pigeons. 
Dang, that's crazy. That's the government spy. Like, yeah. I have to do so many things to get famous. Let's come on. That's not even fair. That isn't. Go up. There's Javi. Look right there, right there. With Wait. the red little scarf. Go up. There, right? You see right there. Look <laughs> exactly like Javi. Told you. Dude, he does. Right there, right there. See? <laughs> Let's go on. I think he looks like him. You could, dude, you should be him for Halloween, Javi. Let's see. Stitches and all. Do the face like that? Yeah, give us your side profile. Oh, it's the other eye? The other yeah. eye. The other way. Like this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, it looks see? like him. <laughs> you just have to get the mutton chop going. Yeah. Damn. Kind of looks like Marco. She looks like Javi. See, that looks exactly <laughs> like Javi, <Hobby>, bro. Agreed. <laughs> okay, so you got Jose Padilla. Okay, now back to Hollis for it's number two. Terrorist pick for Team Haas. He selects Saddam Hussein. Oh, Saddam Hussein. Let's go, baby. Dude, and he also another good mustache, and then his hair was like he looked like a cat, remember? Yeah. And he, he had looks nice like eyebrows. Show. He had nice eyebrows too. Look at that, man. Wow. If Pancho was a human, this is what he would look like. Damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he does have his eyes right there. <laughs> Come on, guys. When he wants to sit Take on my lap. Back. He wants to sit on my lap. I told him, I was like, are you yes. sure? <laughs> He's like, please. <laughs> Mo! Mo! He's also sick of having an athletic dad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so can I make my second uh, terrorist pick? I need to look something up because I don't know. It's the only terrorist. Well, let me make my pick. Tell him the calls. Come on, man. You got to wait because you might Google something that he already That I might already. Come on. Tell him stop. Look, he's not listening. (laughs) Dude, I'm going to tell Hulse on you, fucking Harley. Come on, dude. (laughs) So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the homeland of Mexico. I'm going to pick Comandante Marcos. Look him up, Bobby. (laughs) For my number two. Dude, I'm going to have. They're all good with guns. Look at that. Oh, shit. Huh? And he always had guns, bro. And all his posse. Look at that, bro. He writes on horse. <laughs> he has a piper in this. fucking ATV. <laughs> with Come his butt there. Look at that, dude. It's a Mexican yeah. Gandalf right Come there. Come on, boy. Does he need the eye patch in this one? Su comandante Marco. It's the Jose saying. Padilla, the bullfighter just under. <laughs> 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 he just moved countries. Look at that, host. <laughs> and he's got, dude, he's like, he works for call center host, too. Look at that. <laughs> That's where my head so and, and he's got a Patagonia fucking little old bag. You see that? Else? Yeah. Damn, boy. Huh? That North Face. Hey, killer. but look, I want to see him with a gun. Let's see. Scroll down. Show some good pictures of him. Let's see. Like, look, he was always smoking on some. But he was reefer. a Black Panther as well. Bro. That's because he was just like me, dude. 40% <laughs> black. Look, he's doing, he's flipping people off. You see that? Come on, Tamagos, bro. He was a fucking legend, bro. But yeah, that's it. That's who I would be right there. Subcomandante Marcos right there. Oh, look, he's doing it. Oh, you see? Salute the fucking flag, baby. Come on. So I got him. Oh, but he's doing the communist. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the hammer and sickle. Dude, go down. Look at that picture. That was dope. Look, go this down one right a here? more. No, go down. Right there to the left. Right there with the gun. Look at that. Oh, dude, I'm going to make that my profile picture. Look at that. Oh, that's... oh damn, boy. Oh, look at that. Dude, don't tell me that one's not cool. That's... Nice. Oh, it's it up, but you People can... pick up, oh, I'm going to call you with my my cash. You know what I mean? Yeah. He fucking calls you like this. You know what I mean, Hoss? Can you imagine him and Osama pull up with AK-47? Oh, man. That would be an AK-94. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 okay, Javi, you got your second pick. <clears throat> so far, you have zero guns. <laughs> okay. Hoss has... Possibly weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Weapons of mass destruction on his team. So he might kill all of us, okay? But he might not. Who knows? <clears throat> you know who has them for sure? Kim Jong. <laughs> oh, Let's fucking go. Dang, he kind of looks like Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're gonna get Kim Jong Un. Dude, that's a good one, too, bro. That's a good number oh. two. Damn, bro. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. He's got rockets for sure, right? 
ballistic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, okay, man. your third and last overall pick for Terror Racer Holes. <laughs> Who do you have? I probably roster? delay things a little bit longer if I could, but I'm not going to because I'm picking Joseph Stalin. Oh! Pose <laughs> 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 Hey, Stalin. <laughs> Look hey, at this distinguished yeah. man with a fucking <laughs> mustache as well. That was, he's got the most iconic mustaches on his team. <laughs> it's Team All Mustache. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the hammer and sickle. Dang, oh boy, it kind of looks huh? like a Puerto Rican salsa singer. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these could be like an album cover. You know? Yeah. Cuando no encuentro amor. He eliminates 16 million. Or, or that one, he has his hat in color. It's like Guerra de Amores. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like <something> <laughs> Guerra sin fin. Uh, damn, that one, look. That one, he looks like This one right here, he looks like Dracula. About to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like one of those fucking bitches getting her freaking eyebrows done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, what's the other fucking, uh, with the strings? What's that called? Yeah. Microblade. Yeah, they're doing microblade. <laughs> you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> and she's doing a face knock, a chemical peel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, they so call that chemotherapy. Here if you're going to go with him, I'm going to go with the number one hitter at the L. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the guy that didn't get accepted in art school. Come on, boy! <laughs> <laughs> number one! <laughs> okay. So I got him. I got those right, the Austrian assailant. Marcos, bro. We take it over, baby! The Austrian assailant. Uh, no, I got connections. Dude, if, if we're talking about body count, my team wins. I got connections in America. Mm -hmm. I got connections in the Middle East, and I got the European. I have connections to America with the Allies. Joseph Stalin, the Allies, or the U.S. Gay? Not at all. Come on, host. Look, bro. Killed way more people than this fucking come idiot. Come on. <laughs> look, look at his gay ass. Okay, mustache. come on, dude. Look at his gay ass. Stop mustache. looking at my friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I won't pick him up. Okay, we're gonna be that rude. Come on, maybe I want to pick. Uh... <laughs> kind of looks like dumb luck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can you look up? Keep that one open and then look I up mean, dumb luck. He didn't get an art school, so <laughs> that is very dumb terrible luck, luck rapper. Just put rapper Utah. What yeah, do we have to go through images? Yeah, images. All right, here, this one. Kind of looks oh, like which Tommy, one? actually. Oh, <laughs> 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 right, he looks like one of those DJs. Is it David Guetta that he looks like, or? Oh, I... no, no. How you don't know how to look up a picture properly, man? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get a good one that just opens. Like right up. there. Look right there. This one right here? Yeah. When you went to art school. <laughs> well, I mean, Hitler didn't go to art school. Yeah, These like are right all videos. Think so? right like right there. Then you just go back to the other one. Oh, his mustache is better. The Austrians. Oh, yeah, it is better, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's about to raise the hand right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm trying to do the ha me ha me ha, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to switch mine because he's making fun of mine. I'm going to go with Genghis Khan, okay? <laughs> oh, it's too late. You already picked him. I already picked him. Javi, go ahead and no, pick No, okay. Pick him. God. Oh, I had a good one. But you I take Genghis, huh? I'm going to go with Che Guevara. I almost picked Che Guevara. Yeah. Look at this guy. Look at this iconic beard and mustache dude, combo. Dude, if, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> he kind of looks like Javi. <laughs> he kind of looks like Javi, too. I look. Scroll down. Right here. No, the one to the left. To the left? That one. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like you right there. Oh, he's still alive? Give us your side profile. Other way. What is he? Scroll up. We just got to get you a beret. No, he's dead. They executed him. He's dead, Holmes? Yeah. That's the people... Yeah. Have, that's the guy that... Yeah, oh. he looks like him. See? <laughs> 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 and now he's got the beard like that, too, huh? Yeah, he's he starting does. to be a fox. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Javi? What do you say? 
What does the fuck say? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you say, okay? I don't know what I say. But what do you think the match is? <laughs> But that's a pretty good thing. I think Hollis, we would fuck up Holly Sam. You don't think so? Easily. <laughs> yeah, one of, one of mine one of, was cut immediately after his plans. Dude, the, Jose, that one's not even an athlete. What the fuck is he going to do? <laughs> At least I have an athlete next to me. He can't even lie. You know what I mean, Hollis? Damn, that would be pretty good, huh? Dude, yeah, they you should can't talk shit on Kim Jong because he's got okay. his whole country. Oh, yeah, that might be a good he's one. got new. That is a good one. I'll take that it back. Is, so, yeah, well, you might... Make it one round, hobby. But we should do we should do this, Hoss. Cause you know back in the day they used to have this game Def Jam Vendetta? Yeah. We should do the one like terrorist vendetta. Okay. Like with the <laughs> <laughs> Which works even better, right? Because they that's what they want is vendetta. Yeah. T V for short. TV, you're gonna watch it on your TV. Terrorist, but we've gotta call it like T R T R V or something, you know what I mean? Terror I don't know, like it has to be have like one more letter, I feel like terrorist, vendetta, fight club. Crucible. Crucible. So what would be the acronym for that? TVC. TVC? Pat and pending. Oh, dude, that would be so cool. You don't think it's a host? Yeah, I'd like that. And then like each of them has like a like a special move of something horrible that they do. You know? <laughs> kind of like Mortal Kombat or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you see Osama's like fighting and then he does a special like two planes come at you. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> just two towers just collapse on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. You don't think so? Yeah. What would your see? What would your Idi Amin? Mean? He would malnourish you, so he'd, just like, <laughs> he'd inject you and pull every nutrient out of your body, and you'd just starve immediately. You would be a leech. You like would do leech life. Yeah, like. <laughs> Mega drain. <laughs> oh, damn, dude, that's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. But you know, long story short, don't let people play. You know, with their kids at the park, because they might end up being perverts like this. Yeah, or read a history book. Yeah, that's what we were trying to say. We weren't trying to be rude. We were trying to say, if you look in between the lines, go ahead, hubby. Or your kid would end up as a terrorist, you know, from being bullied the whole time. Exactly. So, right? so that's what we're trying to say. We were trying to remind you of what the face of criminals look like. Okay? You guys thought we were mocking history, that we were celebrating terror. Absolutely Because did we even mention an American terrorist? Oh, there are none. No, there's not a single one. Nope. They were all foreigners. They were all yeah. other countrymen. Oh, they're called cops. Okay, fuck your little comment, okay? Yeah, you guys call them bastards, not terrorists, okay? A uh, cab. <laughs> it wasn't a cat. Dude, it's it w- a cab. Imagine if all cops were bastards. They were like, uh, oh, no. Is bastards the same when they don't have a dad? A ba- it's just a kid out of wedlock is what I thought, right? I don't know, but we have technology. Because it's like, imagine it's and like, because I mean, that would be mostly too, everybody yeah. would be a cop then, huh? Most of society is going to be cops then. There's going to be like an influx of cops, huh? Wait, what? Just put what makes a kid a bastard, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) See? Oh, damn. So many bastards in this world. (laughs) I'm not one of them. Yeah. A lot of Mexican bastards, too, you know? (laughs) That's why I call all of this. (laughs) Bring your whole family now. Uh, A school full of bastards. (laughs) I saw so many bastards on Instagram this morning. (laughs) Fuck these kids. Dude, almost 99% of kids nowadays are bastards. Yeah. Uh, At least they've got a boff-ass bitch mom. (laughs) Even the friends that we know, you know what I mean, us? Yeah. Even if grown men, dude, they're bastards, you know? <laughs> they're no longer like little bastards. They're just like just bastards. They're just big bastards. Yeah. <laughs> BBs, you know what I mean? I went to school with so many bastards. The BBL. We're going to start a new BBL. Big Bastard League. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what BBL Drizzy is, you know? <laughs> BBL Drizzy. His mom had him out of wedlock. That whole BBC, oh, you know? Oh, he is, huh? Yeah, big Bastard so competitions. We just proved Kendrick. That was the plant. The mole. Oh, did it's he have a dad had a, too? He didn't have a Brazilian butt lift. He was a big bastard league. Oh, that's what it was. He huh? had his. He, he Dude, was that's called out of mental gymnastics. gymnastics. Okay, guys, you guys don't know about. So we already decide for the whole. Do you have a question, Javi? Oh no, I was just doing mental gymnastics. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know they're not like us they're not like us they're he not. dropped down and gave us 50 right yeah. 50 <laughs> mental push ups because I'm team Drake baby let's go <laughs> I'm doing mental workouts you know look between the two only one mentioned that family matters, matters. yeah 
come on, guys. The other one was probably in the elevator there next to Diddy. You know what I mean? Drop kicking his fucking wife. You don't think so? With the size seven. Huh? Yep. I could yeah. see the whole Def Jam bandana coming out. They of call him Kung Fu Kenny for a reason. <laughs> Ask her. The way he yeah. asks all the women. <laughs> yeah, because if Kendrick's wife tries to get away, he gives her the, the left, left hook, the right hook, hook and the oh, Sandy God. hook. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Hold up. No, bitch. Dude, can you imagine being Kendrick's wife, bro, and he talks to you in all his fucking little voices? <laughs> <laughs> They're not like us. <laughs> and then he talks, he's trying to talk to you romantic, you know? <laughs> but then he goes into that voice, you know? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, when I first saw you, I thought you were beautiful. You were so precious. You were my star. You was everything I wanted, all I ever had. And now that you're with me now, and now I feel like I'm giving up. <laughs> and I feel like you're such a bitch. <laughs> and so I was like, honey, honey, Kendrick. No wonder. Stay with me, Kendrick. <laughs> you know, snap out of it. I was like, this fucking blue shot. You know what I mean? Oh, that would suck. Maybe he has, a, he has a MD, right? Multiple personality disorder. Oh, I thought you were his medical does, doctor. Yeah. He doesn't have that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe we should do this, okay? Because, you know, people have been wanting us to address the beef. You know, last time we talked about beef. We beef did it with, in with manners birds. that you guys, with birds, right? But I think simple minded birds. We have to maybe go to the doctor's office for this, right? Maybe. Because they're, now they're saying talent is talking in seven different personalities, right? Talking about cheating on your wife, talking about how you love white chicks, and now that you only love black queens, you know what I mean? Now you're talking about all these things. Now you're going And against... that light-skinned niggas can't be that good in, in hip-hop. Yeah. Come on. And most of you guys that are getting mad are light-skinned ass niggas. You know what I mean, Huss? The ones that side with Kendrick? Yeah, the ones that side with Kendrick. He's got I'm the not most... mad at all. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Well, I'm you're... not either, but... You know? Yeah. yeah. Cause you're light skinned, but you is a dog nigga. Okay, <laughs> come on. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. So Hoss is gonna take us to tell us why Do- Doctor Hoss is gonna take us to the uh, doctor's office. Uh, we're gonna have to explain this. First, beef. can you ask for permission, Ari? Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. Damn, my bad. Can I ask for permission, Jose? Yeah. You think you can ask Doctor Hoss so you can take us to this office? I think so. I think I can ask. Doctor Hoss, can I ask you for permission to take us to the doctor's office? You may take us to the doctor's office. Nice. But it's gonna be a slow day. Oh, yeah. oh come in. Welcome. Do one of you guys want to remind these idiots why we're even here at the doctor's office? Oh, do you want to tell them what I told you to tell them why we're here at the doctor's office tonight? What's happening in the black community? Yeah. Um, we're, we're trying to figure out if... Uh, about... No, I thought we were trying to figure out about Kendrick's uh, multiple... Yeah. What's going on with him? Of his mentals. He doesn't seem to be doing too well. He speaks in voices. He has... Like at least ten different voices in his head that come out, so uh, it's not even in his head anymore, you know. And then um, also, he's feeling euphoric. I don't think he can feel euphoric if he has that many voices in his head. Which voice is euphoric? You know, <clears throat> he doesn't even know. Yeah, and then he's probably feeling euphoric because he finally got a number one, but he's probably sad because it's it's about another man. Yeah, and not his wife. He's confused you know? with it. He himself. beat another, another. He beat another man, and not his wife is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he so. beat more than a man. He beat a woman. Yeah, <laughs> more than an athlete. <laughs> I'm more than an athlete. <laughs> what he's suffering is called fractionation. So it's a neurological term. It's a mechanism within the neural arch of the vertebrae, whereby only a portion of the efferent nerves innervating a muscle reacts to stimulus, even when the reflex requirement is maximal, so that a reserve of neurons remains respond, uh, remains to respond to additional stimuli. Through this phenomenon, a muscle tension is maintained. Earlier, we talked about having to do mental what? Gymnastics. So if you listen to a song and you have to do gymnastics, what are you doing? Exercise. Extra work. Exercise. Extra work. More stimuli. When you do exercise, you 
cause stimuli on your CNS, central nervous system. CNS. Which is connected to? Your brain. Your brain. Reptilian humanoid. Exactly. And we're talking about Kendrick Lamar, who has multiple personality syndrome. So he's creating music to cause you to do mental gymnastics, and one person can't keep up with that. So he fractionationed his entire personality to be able to keep up with his own mental gymnastics. That's why he doesn't really do a lot of interviews because he can't just switch to seven different personalities or however during many he the has interview. during the interview. And it would expose him for being not that smart, right? Because really, someone you when someone has a mental disorder, do we praise people with mental oh, disorder? Oh, no, we send them straight to the fucking the asylum. Except we for in America. Yeah. 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 Now it's... Now, now they just attend Pride Month, Mental right? health. Yeah. yeah. And this guy's just sitting and, you know, he just does push-ups in... <laughs> the backyard with a bunch of gangsters, oh, yeah. right? And yeah. he's just wearing slides and socks. <laughs> yeah. What is he? Hey, he's not even buff. That's dude. a coping mechanism, oh, okay. right? So there's a couple uh, things that uh, Bobby simmer also... the fuck down. Okay, the <laughs> maybe I have the same thing. I was just showing my slides. I was doing push-ups in the no, Simmer the fuck down. The doctor's speaking. So Bobby. fractionation. There's more parts to it, not just the neurological part. Okay, there's chemistry part in it too. The separation of a substance into its basic constituents by using such procedures as fractional distillation or crystallization. What did oh, I just get come done on, saying? Dude. He has to switch to a different personality in order to break down his own bars. But one personality of his cannot break down all of all the of other the bars. personality bars. It takes what to raise a child. It takes a, a village, a tribe. village, a community oh, yeah. to build a child. Not one mother, okay? And they're, sorry for the boss ass bitches. Sorry they're for bastards. the bastards. Yep. Sorry for the single father. Sorry for the bastards. So what have I just done? Full circle. Kendrick is a bastard. bastard. And that's why he has broken personality, oh. fractionation. He lives in the US, which is the greatest nation on earth, and right now it's experiencing fractures. And that's why people can relate to them. Exactly. Because they're because fractured they have, they and they're broken. They broken homes. They broken have, families. Yeah, they, they know they're born out of wedlock. It ruins their identity. But Drake, even though he was born in a broken home, he was raised by an actual boss bitch. A mom and a dad. Yep, both of them were in his life. Yep. He was uh, successful as a youngin, and he carried that and, success into adulthood. And that's why more less people can relate to Drake. Yep. Because there's they, less of us that had a good, loving mother and they dad. They didn't have a loving home. That's yeah. what it comes down to. So, like, all these people that relate to Kendrick, they just didn't have good parents. They and were that, bastards. And that's why he's trying to tell Drake to sit down and be humble. Because Drake... Has he's showing off. Ooh, I got a family. Yeah, he I loves his mom. I can bring my whole family now. <laughs> exactly. That's what I can do. So, yeah, because, dude, I've never seen Kendrick's dad. Like, his. Dude, he even. Uh, Drake's he's not even he with his own Steve kids. Harvey. Yeah. Didn't you know? he hang out with the guy who robbed his dad? I don't know. Mr. Yeah, Duckworth. That, Mr. Duckworth. Yeah. That's why his dad's cool. You know what I mean? He's out there in the streets still. You know? Yeah. He's cool. He wears cool shirts. He's always shirt. Yeah. Yeah, like, i never seen Kendrick's dad. He probably doesn't even have a shirt. He probably just has a tank top like a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I have a white beard. We've even seen Kanye's dad. The apple did not fall too far from the tree. <laughs> huh? We've even seen Kanye's dad. Yeah. We have. And we haven't seen Kendrick's. No. You know? That's why so. he's so broke. And they're bro. always coming after Kanye. And you're right, because most of my friends are like, oh, I love Kendrick. Like, all of them, bro, they, they have, have broken the, homes. Oh, yeah, the worst homes. Their marriage is falling apart. They yep. hate their wives. You know what I mean? Their parents never told them that they were loved. Yeah. yeah they, they don't have confidence. No, they don't. They don't even have hobbies. They don't have any hobbies. Yeah. Like, if they have a hobby, it's like, I'm going to I'm gonna go to the gym because I can't afford a therapist, you know? The gym is my therapy. Well, it's a shitty-ass therapy because you're still on here crying. Yeah. I'm going to make another startup. Cry. Know? What we want to say is cry tears, not fucking noise. Yeah. Cry by yourself in your, in your fucking bed with tear-soaked, uh, tear-stained pillows. We don't want to see your fucking complaints And they're all online. yellow, you know what I mean? The yeah. pillows? I don't want to pay for internet so I can see you fucking bitching online. Yeah. Fucking selfish God, cunts. Dude, you finally deciphered. Boys and girls, go deciphered fuck Deciphered Kendrick's mental gymnastics. Man, bust it all. Come on, hoss. No wonder he has so many entendres and triple and single and cinco de mayo yep. because he's so fractured. I'm, well, I'm yeah, because you guys are all looking for a meaning. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, that's why Drake, he's so clear with what he says because he already found meaning. He's happy with himself, he's happy with his life. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll try. No, that's just you. what I was okay. going to say. Like. Look, if you're in school, one of the best things I learned from my greatest teachers and professors was... Keep it simple, stupid. If you don't know how to explain it simple enough, you don't understand it well enough. 
Who explains things more simply? People that are smart. Yeah. Geniuses. So compared to Drake and Kendrick, if one, you have to read 17 books, that was a complex And you guys can't even read the books. You don't even know what books to find. <laughs> yeah. I watched DJ Plaid in academics. The only bookings <laughs> that's you're familiar with. That's a long academics. Those guys aren't even wrong. DJs. Come on now. What the only the... bookings you're familiar with is your father going, getting booked in jail for beating on your mother. <laughs> and that's probably Kendrick's experience too. The or book his of life. jail. But you pieces of shit. <laughs> really, look, it, it, one explains it simple. I don't have to crack open a book. He's explained it simply enough to me. Smarter. Yeah. His... Because Einstein created what? E equals mc squared and who's an mc and they call him a square drake, drake. oh god oh, oh, come on man Woo! <laughs> hey, <this is> <laughs> <laughs> the powers are just up today six god six god six god i'm charged up fuck master flex <laughs> 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 tell, tell Clue to drop a bomb. He's on that. going to keep summer cold in the winter. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Who's kid? <laughs> Who's kid is this? Oh! Come on. We're doing mental gymnastics oh! today. Oh, come on. Damn, dude. Look at Hobby, dude. Hobby, dude. And Hobby, look, you look at me now. Look at this. Dude, he's getting a workout over there. That's fucking that moss, huh? You yeah. know what I mean? That fucking Mexican moss, baby. I'm going over people's heads like, Randy, oh! baby! <laughs> Get moss. <laughs> oh, we're going to make Hobby his moss commercial. Get, Get moss less, dude. Get know? moss. <laughs> Get moss. Bad, Bad friendly. <laughs> okay, so now, you know what? Now that we got this desire for the right, I think we, we're going to have to uh, help Javi build this brand, his empire. Because no division, Javi, it's not that cool as your moss, okay? <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm wearing one right now. It's like 300 degrees. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not cool because And it's it not my AC, warm. okay? <laughs> it's supposed to keep you warm in the winter. <laughs> I bring the heat in the summer. <laughs> you know, so we're going to help Javi, since we're good friends, we're going to help him create his his moss his moss line. You know what I mean? Yeah, live moss. <laughs> oh, live moss? Patent pending. pending. Okay. Oh, act, come on. Think... You're on fire. Today, man. Come on. Pour some water. It's like you head. entered and went to those. <laughs> you need water? <laughs> those German showers is what you entered right now. <laughs> it's so hot Damn. in here. Oh, stop gassing me up. <laughs> <laughs> Mustard on the beat, ho! Pim pim pim! They're not like us! <laughs> They're not like us! They're not! <laughs> Kendrick being a Nazi? Myth busted! busted. Fucking <laughs> idiot! Look who you're supporting! <laughs> You think he's you, trying to kill the Jew? Yeah. Oh, oh, myth busted! Oh, you think Jose picked the guy no, no, no. on accident when he wanted to change? Remember, I said no, and he knew why. Yeah. That's why he didn't fight me. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Because we brought it full circle. Now you're supporting the same guy who did atrocities mm -hmm. in the 1940s. That's who you're supporting. Keep that in he's mind. He's trying to kill Drake. You know what I mean? You guys love genocide, you fucking pieces uh, of shit. And that's why he warned the thorn and he was mocking Christ. Yep. The devil. Kendrick. That's why I don't listen to Kendrick yeah. at all. You know, Take a... K dot Kung Fu yeah. Kenny. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, man. Okay, but so, back to the moss. You think so? With moss. Okay. God damn, dude. I think maybe it's the powers in the moss energy today when I walked in. Plus the non-pedophile energy, you know, from me today. <laughs> Which we have that every day. Okay, on, that's the only man. energy we're on. <laughs> TDE, Here's the notch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Top dick energy, okay? <laughs> Troll dick energy, which is what Kendrick's on. So we're going to do his uh, Lith Moss. Do you like that name, Javi? Do you agree? I agree. Dude, that 100%. is so nice. And it's going to have Javi like, playing soccer when it's your commercial, right? He's like, first he's going to be that guy. It's like, are you tired of being out of the game, right? And yeah. it's gonna, yeah. Javi's going to be out there. He's not going to be able to score a hat trick at all, you know? No. He's on the he's bench. He's going to dive like that bull. With LLA. The know? bullfighter when he lost his eye. <laughs> <laughs> to block. <laughs> you know, so Javi's going to be out of the bench. And it's like, are you tired of being... Okay, so... So Javi's gonna be Live Moss. So we'll do a promo uh really quick of um you can look up a soccer picture. What are you looking at? Oh just like highlights that we can play like me before and then me after, you know.
Oh, I'll put it down, dude. A couple of lo- a lot lizards. That's how we at the park. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's supposed to be funny. Do yeah, you can't do that. That's you after the monster. Do, yeah, this do is after. soccer fails. <laughs> That's heavy at the park with the kids now. Mm-hmm. In West Valley. <laughs> <laughs> That's me right now. Pre-most. Oh, there, there I go again. You yep, know? into the shrubs. And Harvey does dress like that sometimes, huh? With the tracksuit. Hey, yeah. that, look at and the shorts like that with this butt sticking out. What happened? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. That's... Okay, exit out of that, Harvey. Come on, I'm trying to build you a business, man. Oh, okay, play that one, though. <laughs> He went for the kill shot. Sniped. Freaking idiot. (laughs) Dude, that was a nice shot, though. Oh, dude, they're going to hit the fucking water well. (laughs) He's going to fall to his death. He fell into the water well. There's a tiger waiting for him down there. Oh, that hit a car or something? Okay, Javi, come on. We're going to oh, start me, watching yeah. these videos. That's you. <laughs> 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 That's me showing off and then... Dude, you know. that is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Javi, come on. Okay, so we're going to do... You know, so Javi's going to do the moss and stuff like that. You know, we're going to have it on moss. And then what other things is your moss going to be? What are the top three things that your moss is going to offer, Javi? Um, regenerating athletic abilities, athletic you know? ability. Okay, so hand eye coordination, mental hand-eye. stamina, mental stamina. Okay. So, for the mental gymnastics <laughs> and um, sexual endurance. Oh, come on, hubby, you're gonna get the stiffy iffy. Yeah, you're stiffy. gonna put the ashwagandha off of uh, <laughs> the market, okay? <laughs> you're gonna put it out of market, <laughs> okay? And then, what uh, so let's okay, so we're going to introduce so hubby's going to be. This is he's at limitless, right? Because this is where he's gonna sell his moss. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a limitless potential there. Gabino, sir, my husband will wonder, sir. Dre's he's the DJ. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but Dre's getting paid. Come on, yeah, he's getting paid. He's not he, gonna show up. He's, he's there for a gig. He has a family. Okay, yeah. come on, guys, you fucking bastards. Okay, and so, hobbies. <laughs> so yeah, so Dre's gonna be there. He's a DJ, paid. Yeah, but my husband is gonna be there. You know, our marriage is in shambles right now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> me and my husband. Right. Yeah, yeah, it would be. It would be for anyone who does mental. Gymnastics <laughs> for a That's why I beef. left him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Gave dude. more time and attention to Kendrick. You can't think straight if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they not like us. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna so we're going to do the commercial for a hobby, and then we're going to introduce him, and then he's gonna intro he's gonna walk up to Limitless and he's gonna talk about his moss, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you ready, Javi? Yes. Okay, so look up uh what kind of music do we need for the uh, use commercial music? Um, music for commercial. And we can do one, right? Moss. Lift moss. Lift better. Do you Is want that a good slogan, Hoss? Or that what sounds very good. Lift moss. Lift better. Let's see what that sounds like. This sounds kind of good, right? For the moss? Yeah. Yeah, that's a perfect, uh... Are you tired? Okay, okay, go back. I'll do the, uh... When you're, like, tired of failing and stuff like that, and then you go in with, like, introducing Lift Moss, the moss that'll... Okay? Yes. Okay. And then is this going to be a pill, a powder? What is it, uh... What we'll is have this? different variations. Different variations. He's going to tell us that in the Limitless Convention. He's going to reveal it. Right now, we're just helping him with a commercial, and then okay, we'll play another okay. music to introduce him. You'll introduce him. <laughs> okay. And then we'll be the crowd of the limitless people that he has to sell it to. Okay? Ready? Look at you. Are you tired? Are you low on energy? Are you no longer fulfilled in life? Can you no longer last in bed like you used to? Do your friends make fun of you? Are you losing strength? Are you losing your manhood? Are you low on energy? Are you low on potential? If you said yes to any of these things, we might have a solution for you. 
the new product, Live Moss. It will make you a better athlete. Hand-eye coordination through the roof. Mental stability for mental gymnastics. Can you jump through hoops to make something reason? Whether you like it or not, make sure you win every argument regardless of where you stand. And last, but most definitely not least, keep it up or keep it wet depending on your anatomy. Sexual endurance will no longer be a question for you. Live Moss. Oh, that was, that good. was so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Lip gloss. My hobby, okay? Come on, man. Okay, so now you're at the uh, play like speech ceremony music. And then me and you were the partners at Limitless. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit how we met Javi. Yeah. And stuff like that. Five years ago. I met Javi sitting at a park bench with no kids. Fast forward four years later, a year ago, he had a brilliant idea. He had no athletic ability. It was going down the drain. He was out of his prime. He couldn't do mental gymnastics to keep up with any hip hop beef. He couldn't do mental gymnastics to keep up with the reasoning of his wife. And he definitely couldn't keep up sexually with his wife, would bust quick and have two kids. But now he's invented something to make sure his life gets on track. And teaming up, we're ecstatic to bring him into the family of Mr. Powers Enterprise as we search the Amazon for the purest moss in the world. Now, this has been tested by millions of thousands of millions upon hundreds of millions of thousands of millions of people throughout the generations of beings that have existed. You find yourself lost sometimes and we don't know our own potential because we are no longer one word nature. We're not grounded. We no longer look up into the sky to get the natural vitamins and minerals. We no longer partake of the crowd as, of the ground as we used to before, Hoss. And bringing this product to the mass population to make it accessible for you guys is just life changing and all I want to say host Mr. Powers is that I, I am ecstatic and I am thrilled that you've given us this opportunity here you know to, to partner with you to bring this moss to the American people and worldwide absolutely all of this is 100% harvested by every FDA parameter necessary. It is cold pressed to ensure that every nutrient, every natural ingredient is beneficial for your body and no one is allergic to any of these ingredients. Nothing but the purest form of these nutrients. We're excited to bring him out. A revolutionary man. A man that tells us to live one motto and one motto only. And that motto is... Live Moss! Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. J48 Hobby! Do I keep playing the music? Or a different one? You're fine. We can cut the music. People are serious. Yeah, well, you're giving your speech now that you're a sermon. <clears throat> true, true. Okay. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for having me. Woo! I need some backgrounds. There you go. Here at uh, Live Moss Incorporated, um, intertwined with Mr. Powers LLC, uh, we would like to formally thank you guys for coming out to this limitless convention. Because I know you, I know a lot of you are limited in potential. You know, whether that's sexually, mentally, athletically. Any other Lees out there? Mm. You know, Bruce Lee. All those people. All I have to say is, um, without this invention that I have uh, created and tested on millions upon millions of Africans, you know, with the, the have you seen those physiques out there? Seven feet tall people uh, can jump 20 feet high. What? 
Everyone does. You know, we've injected them with our pathogens of uh, moss and so many preservatives. And I know there was a food shortage, but not anymore. They're living way better, you know, under the city of Akon, under all of the lights. Shout out to Kanye for providing that. Thank you. I love you too, my Polynesian family. I hope you bring your whole family now. now and come buy this product. We're only selling it for a limited time because this is a limitless show for $13.92. Step on up, you know. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, uh, baby. Uh, <laughs> Do you even know no. what I'll say with the okolele apanyane? No, I have no idea. Uh, this is a uh, you know what we need to pull this up on a short or something. <laughs> Go on YouTube and type oko. I think it's oka. Oka lele. lela. No lela. Epa. Sorry, lela is a separate word. I think it's Congan, like from Conga. Conga. Oka lela epa e p a. There we go down. Oh, it's Oko. And this guy, like the the guy that does a little ad lib yelling, I think he's deaf. Uh, he, that's the whole music video. Do they have a short? Um, go up. All the way up. It's a short song. Just go, go to shorts. shorts. Yeah. MC Baba is his name. That's not the song though. Yeah, this is. Yeah, type MC Baba and, and just. MC Baba. Yeah, space B A B A. You can just pick the song then and forward it to the part. The this fuck is this? <laughs> forward it like 30 seconds in. Okay. Wait for the... <laughs> MC Baba's the guy that does it. He's this guy. <laughs> He's a mute. Or deaf. We're gonna get uh, copyrighted for this, huh? Nope, no, we're not. We're promoting. <laughs> okay, it. Okay, come on. <laughs> we're this, getting, come on. We're getting like a reaction. The African jaw rule. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> the African but, Helen Keller. Let's go. Uh, without water, though, you know, he learned how to talk with dirt. <laughs> <laughs> He felt the vibrations in the sand. <laughs> but that was... Do you think you can help Javi? Maybe through... Uh, don't they have a AI that we can just look up a good speech, Javi, for you? Like Google AI. Now I bet you if you go to Google, I thought they have the AI feature. Because that... Is it not on Bing? Doesn't Bing no, have No, look. It? it has the AI now there, you see? Oh. oh no, not speech right right <laughs> I don't know. Let <laughs> me go, go, go back uh, one more. You have to go to the home pit yet. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. There you go. Bottom right corner. Right there. What are the other options? To... That's a theme. That's, so yeah, that's going to be your just... background and stuff, your yeah. visuals. What's out of there next to the pencil, hubby? The... the edit? The star? No, just click out of that, hubby. Oh, it's the same it's thing? It's the same thing, yeah. It's just the theme. Great thing. Yeah, I think the uh, AI Bing has an AI. I believe I yeah. could be wrong. I don't use it. I don't use AI. If if you're as smart as me, why do you bother with AI? Yeah, he's. Why would I use AI? Well, never mind. We're gonna tell Javi a speech, you know. But how? Practice. What are we in time, Javi? One twenty. One twenty. We could do advice, right? We haven't done. We advice. We haven't done advice in a while, even though every podcast we or every show we've done has recently been advice. And then Javi, well, Javi's homework for next week. We're gonna redo uh, Lift Moss. Yeah. Right? And he's going to give us a better speech. So, Javi, you start, he started off strong. He did. And then, towards the end, you know, it kind of... The moss wore off. Yeah. I'm a man of few words. So he it's used not the moss work. for an hour and no, ten no minutes. No matter what I do, it's not going to work, you know? Should we stay on the uh, domestic violence? <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> no, it's too no, long. Way too long. long. Just That's like your relationship, you cut. You should have cut that short. These all are kind of. Uh... Go down, go down. My step that tried to touch me, look at that one, huh? Because that's what happened at the park. You know what I mean? But I was under that, and I didn't it touch. It was him. deleted. The post. Ah, oh, damn. 
Oh, what's that one? Do I tell my mom? Oh, that's a good one right there, huh? Oh, let's see no, if it's, it's long. Not super long. Okay, oh, not that, too long. That's bearable. <clears throat> you want me to read the house, or do you think somebody else can read it? Javi, do who do you think should read it? I think uh, I think Beefy should read it. Honestly, okay, you think you can read it? Do you think you can tell Javi to ask me if I could read it? To ask you if I could read it first? Do you think you can ask him to ask hit me if he can read it first? I think I can do that. Okay. Beefy, can you ask Kos if you could read this whole thing? Was well, it okay if I read the whole thing? I think it'd be okay for you to read the whole okay. thing. Thank you very much. Okay, advice by Dry Introduction 868. Do I tell my mom I know she's drinking again? My mom has had a drinking problem in the past. She even got a DUI with me in the car when I was younger. Last summer, I was 17, I figured out she was drinking again, where she hit the alcohol and how she drank without us knowing, where she hit the cup she drank it out of. I told my dad and he talked to her and she said she'd stop. She drank again in November and once again my dad talked to her and she said she'd stop. She started again recently and I'm the only one in the family that not only notices she's drunk but also found that cup again. My dad doesn't like talking to her about her drinking because he says it ruins their relationship. Which I understand, but I'm the one that has to live with it. I'm the one figuring everything out. Do I tell her I know she hides the cup of alcohol in the cabinet and drinks it when no one is in the room? Part of me says no, because if she knows I know, she'll just find a new spot. I'll have to find it. But if I do tell her, she's definitely just going to deny and probably won't stop. But I need her to know it's ruining our relationship and I don't trust her. It's just growing resentment towards her. I go to school in August and I can't wait to leave. Well, it doesn't seem like she's, she's only like three months. You only have to live with it for three months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hang in there, Dude, buddy. we're still on Moss and Powers. We're going to keep it pretty sick. We're so smart. We're going to what? Kiss. What is it? Keep, keep it, it simple, simple, stupid. Okay. Should we put that kiss? K I S S, right? Yep. Keep it simple, Sunny. <laughs> it sounds like you're doing a lot of brain gymnastics <laughs> or mental gymnastics, right? Yeah. Period. Period. Family matters. <laughs> but. <laughs> Not at the expense of your mental well-being. You have to remember. As much. As you love. Your parents, they're not like us. We are also sober, right? Sober and have learned that no euphoria is stronger than when you are sober. My mom used to wake me up at 6.16 a.m. <laughs> 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 